good morning good evening good afternoon and good night whenever you're watching the video welcome back to my channel so in today video i'm going to tell you how you can get up to 100 fps on your Intel HD system why i'm saying up to because it will depend on two factors first of all your processor because valorant is a processor based game and second of all how much accurately are you following my video okay so without wasting any time i will start the video So first setting we have to do in Valorant, go to your videos, graphic quality, set everything to low, even improve clarity and experimental sharpening because they are both post processing things and they take more your processor power than they should. So if you are having a laptop or computer which has a very weak processor, so it will reduce your game FPS. Now go to general. So in Valorant, you can reduce your resolution to 1024 into 768 also. It is showing as a 4 is to 3 ratio, but in game, it doesn't reduce your 16 is to 9 ratio of uh, game pixel and you will see the same thing you were seeing in your earlier 16 to 9 ratio in your 4 to 3 also because Valorant tries to make the game fair as possible. So second step is to open a device manager by clicking on search, click on device manager, open device manager, click on display adapter, click on uh, properties, then driver and update driver click on search automatically for driver so it will update your driver to release this driver available on internet by your laptop manufacturer if driver supports game then in game you will get more fps compared to your old driver because right now your driver supports the game so this step is for limited number of people only uh, for that what you have to do is right click on the taskbar and click on task manager then go to performance cpu and check here for the cpu number if here you are seeing six displays if you are seeing here six seven eight nine after dash or tenth then you are in luck so what you have to do is go to the link in the description for downloading intel driver and you have to just um, download the latest driver provided by intel and you can always check your processor number here in the list to check whether this driver will support your processor or not and if it supports then you are in a treat very lucky you are actually and you will be able to play much more game compared to like old time because you will be getting a little bit more fps in almost all game and you can even try playing cyberpunk like i have tried and stream also in the video you can check that in the i section how i tried streaming cyberpunk on my laptop so that's the third step now this fourth step is actually oriented towards uh, laptop people so you can just skip it if you want or you can just watch it and see what it is so there is a software called intel extreme utility so you can download it is that software from the link in the description it is free to download and it works on on laptop also you don't need to worry about then what you have to do is then here you can see my intel extreme utility software has been opened now you can see my laptop certification processor number processor driver updates cooperation number etc etc okay so and you can see my driver version also updated on which date so you don't need to go through that all you have to do is to go to all controls i agree go to core and here you have to do a core voltage offset that is we are doing under volting for every laptop under volting is different and what having done second step in this is increase my turbo boost power max this is for the laptop specific only this step so i have increased my turbo boost power max which was initially 15 watt but i have increased it 22 watt my laptop can go up to 25 watt but then it will start tremor throttling so you have to follow this step and graphic also it will be better if you do a under volting in graphic also. so if you want to know what actually this step is happening you can check the, the video in the i link in the right side of your screen and in that video i've explained what are actually is happening in the volting step and all what actually under volting does and all that so i will not waste my time on this step and this is you can say 4.1 step in this for laptop user only it will be better if you can buy cooling pad so what cooling pad is basically you are connecting an ex external usb fan just below your laptop to keep it cool so it will be more beneficial to your laptop and to you 
if your laptop keeps cool so that it will not suffer thermal throttling which is a significant factor for a laptop user while we play games on a laptop okay and yeah before we move to fifth step when you have done your undervolting and closed your all that stuff just make sure to uh, click on here and exit the uh, intel extreme utility software because it will keep on running in the background so the next step is to download the software called quick cpu so quick cpu is basically a software where you have to you have to increase these two to 100 percent that is your turbo boost index and code parking index so it will tell your laptop or processor to run at a maximum speed possible don't play with scaling frequency index do that thing on your own risk because this is more trickier part so you can play on these three and two things and it's really better to increase them to 100 click on apply and close it your processor will work on higher load and give you a little bit more performance okay now the sixth software you have to use is called arc control just download it from the link in the description and here what you have to do is select basement highest performance and click on apply okay and click on okay the software will be keep on running background so what it is allowing it your processor threads to run at maximum power or efficiency or limit they can while you play games so it will help you in your games so the seventh step is while valorant is running on background click on taskbar click open your task manager here click on valorant go to get details here you can see valorant window dot 64 you have to set it priority to high change priority and in valorant dot and that's all so what if i'm telling my laptop to do is give more priority or more performance to valorant while it's running in background so it will give you a little bit more fps boost because we are trying to get even a one fps boost in game if we can now click on close it and that's all that's for the seven step now 7.1 there is a point twin step also in there in task manager make sure your windows defender is not running windows defender actually takes much more resources than any software even if you're playing games or like that so it will be much better to disable your window defender i will put a video link in the description where after watching that video you can download a simple software to disable your windows defender and by using the same software you can enable your window defender also so make sure to disable your window defender while you play game especially i'm not asking you to keep it closed all the time but for me it doesn't do much thing keeping windows defender on either way so, so this for the seventh step now now the last step you should not ignore the last step which is to go to settings click on gaming enable export bar i use this to record some of the games but right now i'm not using it you have to go in graphic settings here choose browse and go to a location where valorant your uh, valorant is installed and select valorant.exe and click on add i'm not clicking on add because i've already added this valorant to my location then here click on performance and click on high performance for me both of them are same because we are intel hd users so for you it will be the same just click on high performance save and with this you have done every possible step you can do on your hardware to get maximum fps in games so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to check my streaming uh, which i do from my intel HD laptop only you can check that on my youtube channel thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video and subscribe before you leave bye